What's good? Early th Happy Thanksgiving. Double Dose Grant. PETA and TV. I don't like PETA. I know they supposed to protect animals and give them a quote a voice. You know what? Like I said, I don't like them for a few reasons. One, the Ben and Jerry situation. Any time. How can I put it like this? They asked Ben and Jerry Ice Cream Company to stop using cow milk because they were abusing, they're hurting, the, they're hurting them, and they want to use women's breast milk. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 have you lost your damn mind? Seriously, PETA. You want to attach women to their breasts and draw milk out of them. You're being two-faced. That means you don't give two shits about human life. All animals are more important than humans. Let's just tax women. Oh, God. Stupid son of a gun. Why? 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 I will never understand. And I'm glad Ben and Jerry told him told them off in the most classy way. Appreciate that. There are people who like using milk from from cows. There are different ways, but they just like using them for from, from cows. Okay. Number two, they come up with this misinformed, delusional information that think that uh, they pull it out of their buttocks and think it's gonna, it's legit. Like for any prime example, milk causes autism. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Hmm. I don't know what to say on that one. You're crazy. Let's move on. Number three, the Michael Vick saga. If Michael Vick didn't ran that grotesque ob ob orbit dogfighting operations in three or four states while he was still playing football, making millions and millions of dollars, we wouldn't be having this discussion. At all. Oh, God. I mean, PETA just embellished this situation 10 million times more than it should be. Now, it should have been. I mean, like I said, what he did was beyond wrong. PETA need to understand that. I mean, I'm pretty sure if this was the other animal activist group, they wouldn't, you know, get hell-bent, or should I say, out of shape and trying to ruin this guy's career. I mean, yeah, he did it to himself, but you helped contribute to it. And these are the same organization Yes, I'm talking to you, PETA, who sit there and compare breed of pit bulls to black Americans. How do I know that? Hmm. I watched this segment on Fox News, The O'Reilly Factor with Bill O'Reilly, four or five years ago. One of the employees from PETA came on TV and said those things. I literally almost flipped out when I was watching that crap. And to make it worse, she's a black American woman, too. You just contradicted yourself. Nice job. Number four. This will be the last one. They run around causing trouble by throwing paint, fake blood, cooking flour to actresses who wear fur. Okay, did the actress came up to you and sock you in the eye? 
I wish they do it. Just for the hell of it. There's one story I heard from, from YouTuber or somewhere else on website said that uh PETA ain't doing their job. They sitting there trying to uh, protect animals in the in America, but they're not but they're not doing anything in China where dogs or cats or some other animals being skinned alive, leaving their bleed to death. When I heard about this, I was like, huh, okay, hypocrites. You can save animals in America, but you can't save animals worldwide, including China. How nice is that? My closing thoughts on PETA? You're nothing but two-faced, no good, low down. Ugh. Just, just go away, okay? I'd rather see other animal activist groups who, who could do the job right and not draw any attention to themselves. That's enough. TV, I got something to say. Used to be at some really good shows. In the 21st century, there were a few good shows. In my eyes, such as The Bernie Mac Show, My Wife and Kids, George Lopez Show, One on One, Smallville. They showed the new version of Doomsday, but I never understood why they used a human being in the first place. I don't remember Davis Bloom character being in a comic book transforming to Doomsday. Whatever. TV's got to do with these days. It's not it's not a joke. Chuck, Heroes, Burn Otis, Law and Order Special Special Victims Unit, the original Law and Order, they starting to go downhill for me last year and I have a feeling they're gonna it's, it's still going downhill. The characters ain't being killed off. The TV actors, actresses finding another job for some, some elsewhere. Mm. All right. Now today's TV is is just terrible. It's just nothing but damn reality shows. You can't turn on the television without seeing them. Even big networks like. ABC, NBC, Fox, My Network, CW, CBS. I mean, nothing but reality shows. It's like, oh, no, why? Why? You can blame MTV for that, too. They started this trend, and it's been open floodgates in the 21st century since. I mean, they did play music and non-music non related shows, too. Like Neon Flaws, Beeps, and Butthead, and all other good stuff. Now, they play nothing but movies and reality shows, and less mu music. The only time I watch MTV is True Life. I'd rather watch that than watching the rest of the crap that the network puts out. It, BET, Black Entertainment Television, oh my god, I got something to say to you. Get ready. In the future, you're on my list for rants. I am so disappointed with this network. It's not its not a joke. They jumped the shark. They're following the same path as VH1 and MTV. Speaking of VH1, they're playing reality shows too. They used to play, you know, music. They do play music. But now they're playing reality shows and movies. And then they're playing Flavor of Love with Flavor of Flav. That... Gremlin, ugly, goofy looking. Oh. I'm jealous of him, him getting the ladies. G4, besides X Play, he shows video games and Attack of the Show. They're gone downhill for me, 2006. Hmm. I love Ninja Warrior as well, but the rest of the network has gone down the toilet. Now you got oversensitive parents and mothers and FCC 
got their hands on the networks. Now they're going to play a huge role, according to West Side Steve. Oh, God, help me. TV shows are going to be even more dumbed down than ever. My closing statement. Corporate fat cats, TV executives, pull your heads out of your ass. Clean the sugar daddy out of your ears. Listen to the viewers and fans. If not, you're going to lose them, and you have nobody to blame but yourself. San Antonio 17, signing out. Happy Thanksgiving. See ya.